keeps us warm. We can spend the night. I have all the love. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little night in my life. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. I used to love making routine videos because I just love having a routine in general. It makes me feel so much more motivated. It makes me feel better. Usually when I don't have a routine, I kind of just feel like a zombie. We actually just got back from a 10 day vacation. We went to Disney for 10 days. It was so much fun. There is going to be a vlog and if you guys want, you can go follow me over on my Instagram. Instagram for like extra fun content. I post like a bunch of videos, reels, pictures over there. But we are finally home now and it's time to get back into that routine because like I said, I just start to feel like a zombie after a while of not having routine. We are doing a little cozy winter night in my life. I'm super excited. Christmas is literally like less than 10 days away. It's crazy how fast the holidays have like creeped up on us. With that being said though, there's like a lot of things I really have to get done. I want to do a little deep clean of my apartment. I'm also going to be reorganizing my bookshelves because for the month of December, I actually blindly chose my TBR. So I wrapped up a bunch of books and I picked numbers out of a jar and that's how I chose my TBR for the month of December. With that being said, my bookshelves, they look atrocious right now. There's so many books like missing and I also just want to go through and actually reorganize them. I want to put like book series together. I want to put authors together, really just go through and probably like wipe down the shelves as well because I haven't touched them in a while so I know they're a little bit dusty a little bit dirty because I also want to do a little book tour not in this video it's gonna be like a whole separate little video for you guys because I've been getting so many requests to do an updated bookshelves tour I'm also going to be wrapping presents in this video because again Christmas is literally less than 10 days away it is so crazy to me that we are already at the end of the year the holidays are here so I'm gonna be wrapping some presents in today's vlog we already have some like wrapped under the tree but there's still there's still presents that need to be wrapped. We're gonna be doing that. I'm going to be cooking dinner. We're gonna be baking cookies, I think. I have a sweet tooth tonight. I'm just going to be taking you guys along with me tonight. We're basically going to work on deep cleaning the apartment really quick. I'm actually gonna set a timer on my phone for 30 minutes to see how much I can get done within 30 minutes. I've actually been doing this a lot lately and I've noticed that it like pushes me to go faster and clean faster because if I don't put a timer on my phone, I'll spend like four hours cleaning this whole area and it's really not that big of an area. It should not take me four hours to clean it. Hopefully we can clean up this whole space within 30 minutes. We'll see what happens when it goes off. I'm so tired already guys. Really quick, I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Shenley. Shenley's vision is keep it simple and graceful. They make fashionable products that are easy to use, efficient, and make cleaning your home fun. I've been using Shenley's Hestia Steam Mop for a few weeks now and has definitely made such a big difference when it comes to cleaning my home. Not only do my floors look cleaner, shinier after mopping, but I now enjoy actually cleaning the floors because Shenley has made the cutest and most lightweight mop ever. I have the Shenley Magic magenta and noble gray color, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm totally obsessed with it. It's definitely like one of the prettiest cleaning products I own. It makes cleaning so much easier and the fact that I can get to hard to reach places like under the shelves, behind the toilet, just makes me so happy. It has an ultra high temperature steam for deep cleaning and sanitization. The steam is also continuous for about 15 to 25 minutes, which is super nice if you have a large area to cover or you're just a slow cleaner like myself. One of my favorite features about this mop though 
know is that it is kid and pet friendly with zero chemicals. That is super, super important to me and I just love knowing that I can have a clean home that is safe for my animals. It is also multifunctional with seven attachments for different cleaning purposes. Something I have absolutely loved using lately is the sponge attachment. This has made cleaning my sinks and bathroom so much easier with removing heavier stains and hard to reach areas. There are different attachments for cleaning grout, grills, windows, tiles, tabletops, and more. I've also tried out this attachment for cleaning my windows, which has been such a game changer in my life because I have really, really big windows in my apartment. This makes it so, so easy to just steam the windows. Simply add water to the floor steamer and it is ready within 15 seconds to take on any cleaning obstacle you have. Shenley also provides a one year money back guarantee, timely customer service, and durable replacement parts. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, I'll have a link down below where you can browse Shenley's Steam Mop. Thank you so much to Shenley for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to my night routine. So next up, we are going to go through and situate all these books, organize my bookshelves because like I mentioned earlier, they're just not how I usually have them and it's kind of driving me crazy. So we are actually going to clean and organize them. So we're gonna go through and actually unwrap all of these books as sad and ridiculous as it may be. I'm just going to be that annoying person in today's video, guys. I also really have to organize my book cart because as you can see, <laughs> there is just so much craziness going on and it is just not organized. I don't even know what's really down there. So we are going to go through and let's just like clean this up. First things I have aren't actually books that we're going to be unwrapping. These are two books I ordered off of Etsy. I did a whole like blind date with the book. I haven't unwrapped these yet because I wanted to do a whole video with them. Can we just take a moment. The way she wrapped these, unreal, okay. We have some camera batteries. I don't know what's Really going on in here to be honest. Some more camera batteries. Life of a YouTuber guys. Going to go through the first shelf of the books. This is honestly kind of exciting because I can't remember what books I wrapped. Let's pretend it's like Christmas. First book I got is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. The X-Files. It's book one in the Ocean View series. Kingdom of the Wicked. I want to start this book series so so bad. Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. <gasps> oh, I want to be so bad. Bottled by Lauren Asher. A Court of Thorns and Roses. So many of you commented on my last video saying that you wish I got this one for my December TBR. Me too. Me too. We have The Fine Print. Better than the movies. The Mistake. Who was I trying to fool with this? Dance of Thieves. The one book I was hoping I would get. King of Wrath. The Cruel Prince. We have A Winter's Promise, which I feel like is the perfect book to be reading during the month of December, during the winter time. This one is also not fully wrapped, but you know what? I can already tell what this is. After by Anna Todd, we have a Hooked, another book that I really, really want to read. Shatter Me. I want to start this series so, so bad. So many of you keep asking me to do like a huge reading vlog for it. Until Friday night. Wicked. I've heard so many good things about it, but I don't know. I'm kind of nervous to like get into it. Another fan fave on my channel. Addicted to you. Everyone raves about this book series. It revolves around addiction and I've just never read anything like that. So I'm kind of nervous. Final book is Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson in the second book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Another amazing, amazing read. Okay guys, so we just unwrapped all of these books. Quite ridiculous, I know. But now we are gonna go through and organize my bookshelves. final result of putting all my books back. This is like my favorite bookshelf just because it holds like some of my favorite, favorite books and also like just books I really can't wait to read. I'm not gonna give you guys like a full in-depth like bookshelf tour right now, but I just wanna show you how cute and like aesthetic looking they look. I even had like a little pink vibe going on right here and I just, I love it so, so much. But I think like this top shelf is probably like my favorite 
favorite shelf just because it has like such a great book series on it. And then we have the Coho shelf. And then down here are just some more amazing book series that I absolutely love. That is all for organizing my bookshelves. They look so, so cute. I'm literally obsessed with them. I feel so much better. I know it's so dumb, but I just feel so much better knowing that like all the books are put back and like the bookshelves look nice again. Now we are going to take some time to wrap some gifts. I like to be ahead of the game and usually I'm super ahead of the game when it comes to Christmas shopping and wrapping gifts, but because we took a 10 day long vacation, I'm a little bit behind on wrapping gifts and doing cards and stuff like that. So I wanted to take some time in this video to wrap some gifts with you guys. Growing up, I used to think that I was like a pro wrapper. I always took pride in like my wrapping skills for some reason because everyone always compliments my wrapping skills ever since I got onto TikTok and I'm always recommended during the holidays like people wrapping gifts like in a super aesthetic way I feel like my wrapping skills <laughs> I feel like they're not that good so don't judge me in this video because I feel like my wrapping skills are now questionable some of the things are super easy because I actually just got some fun little holiday bags for them I feel like if you're not good at wrapping gifts getting fun Christmas bags are always the way to go and then along with the bags I got some tissue paper for wrapping paper I just have this super shimmery white wrapping paper and then along with that I got little sticker tags I always get these every year I just think they're so fun honestly this one's my favorite one I think it's so so cute for my aunt and uncle I actually got them three pictures printed out from our wedding and then I bought these really nice nice black wood frames throw these pictures in here and wrap them up and that's going to be their gift for this year i got three eight by ten photos from the wedding they're just like some of my favorite ones this one is actually of chris and i and my aunt she was the one who actually married us at my wedding i actually grabbed my own wedding band i was supposed to grab chris's wedding band to put on his finger and i grabbed my own wedding band it was honestly it was so embarrassing but everyone thought it was so funny and then the last one i printed out is just like a cute little family portrait this is what they look like i think they look so cute especially like in a trio now these ones have to be wrapped but the rest of the things i have here i am actually going to put in gift bags so we're gonna do that first just to get them out of the way the first two things that I'm going to put in baggies are actually little ornaments. I got one for someone on my side of the family and then we also got one for Chris's family. They're so so cute. We got them when we were in Disney and Disney World is actually celebrating 50 years. We got these beautiful ornaments. They are glass ornaments but they also have like this big castle on the top so I was just like praying on the way home that the castle wouldn't come apart from the glass part or it wouldn't shatter. I literally wrap them in so much paper so luckily they made it home alive they're gonna go in their own holly jolly fun bag and I'm going to wrap them up in a ton of tissue paper just to be safe Dominic's bag for Chris's other cousin Gianna we actually picked her up something from Victoria's Secret Pink and I'm so obsessed with it we actually just got her this little gift set it comes in this massive coffee mug this is the biggest mug I have ever seen in my life and then I'm actually just going to keep it in the bag it came in because it came in this cutie little Victoria's Secret bag and then it also came with its own holiday tissue paper so that was super easy now we're gonna go wrap the picture frames and then we're gonna label everything uh -huh. Did you just give yourself a paper cut immediately? <laughs> 